Hey guys, it's Lisa Pisa. Today I'm going to film a video about why I'm upside down on my car loan. Pretty much means that you owe more on the loan than what the car is worth. Also, how to get out of it. So, back in 2011, I bought a new car. It was a 2000, well, it wasn't new. 2010 Mazda RX-8. And I love that car. It was so fast and so cool. I felt like awesome driving it, whatever. But come to find out, it's incredibly small. Even for me, I'm five foot nothing and 95 pounds, and it was too small for me. So if a big guy is driving that car, just laugh at him because you know it's too small for him. I bought the Mazda RX-8 for 20000 and then I traded it and I got all my money back for it because I knew the dealer and they were running special whatever. I bought that car in July of 2011. Then, in August, I traded in for another car, which was the Mazda CX-7. I bought the CX-7 for $35,000, I want to say. I had it for six months, but I never changed the oil on it, and I was, like, driving all the time. It was a very busy period in my life that I was driving a lot, I was working a lot, I was hang out with friends a lot, like I didn't think about my car. Lesson learned, this is what happens when you don't change the oil. Basically, me and my husband went snowboarding and we were driving back and the car decided to smoke and <laughs> it smelled. We had to pull off to the side of the road. I had to call my brother and my brother and my cousin came and picked us up, which like was a half hour away. This had been in December, January. I took it to the dealership, they said they could fix it, and I was like, okay, fix it. But then I was like, I just want a new car. I don't want to deal with this. Because they kept having all their problems just from not changing your oil. But they only gave me like $27,000 for it. So I was eight grand in the hole. So girls, ladies, change your oil. Like you do not want this to happen. So... I traded my car in for my Mazda 3, which I still have now, and it was also brand new, 2012 Mazda 3. Um, my Mazda 3 was only 23, 24,000. I'm not too sure about the prices. I mean, it was four years ago. Getting 27 back and having a 23, 24,000 dollar car, I'm like three or four thousand dollars in the hole, you know. That is why I am upside down on my car loan. Now, how to get out of that is I owe about nine grand on my car loan right now. My car is only worth about five or six grand. So I would have to pay off the total nine grand and then I'd have to take it to a dealership and them to buy it from me after I paid off my entire car, nine grand. Now, I don't have nine grand to just throw out my car and then to sell my Mazda and get five grand back for it, which means I will be $4,000 still out of luck. I wanna keep my Mazda, so that's what I did. I just kept my car. I was like, it's a brand new car, it's fine. Oh, and also, if you buy a new car and get out of that loan, you have to buy a more expensive car than what you had before to knock off that negative equity, which is being upside down on your car loan. The lesson learned here is change your oil and don't buy a new car. Buy used, save up. If you have five grand saved, buy a $5,000 car. Car loans hold you back. You are a slave to the lender. Buy used. That's the best advice I can give you. And if you are upside down, just keep your car. Yeah, it sucks, but Keep plugging away. Go to the bank and pay cash on your loan. And always pay towards the principal on the car loan, not the actual loan, because you're paying more interest that way. So that's how you get out of an upside down car. My advice to you is to just keep your car because there's no reason to sell your car and get a new car. That's my story. Lisa Pisa, like and subscribe, share my video, do whatever you gotta do, just help me out. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye!